I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. Chill out. I'm the nigga that opened it up for the door uh, industry niggas. My battle was way better. I am better than him. And it's a simple way to prove this shit. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. I got my guy with me. Showtime SP Peter. nobody that knows bodies. Bah. Rare Breed Entertainment. Mm -hmm. Salute to Rare Breed Entertainment. RBE in this thing. Mask on two. Mm. Going down this weekend, Saturday, VOD, should be out by the next day. The card has battles like mm -hmm. Chef Trez versus Bankhead, okay. Head Ice versus Rosenberg Raw, okay. O Red versus A Ward, Big K versus Big T, and Jag versus 40 Cal. Mm. Where do you want to start? Should we talk about the main event? Let's Talk about the, the main Let's get the main event out the way. I know. Yeah. O Red versus A Ward is going down. All right. This battle is going to be Wordsmith versus the Wordsmith. The thing that O Red has done in his last bet, his last event when he battled Chef Trans, he was doing a lot of explaining the bars. It was dope. But A War is like, my rebuttal game is crazy. You ain't gotta say that. You, I already caught it the first time you said it. This battle's about to be crazy. What you thinking? Um, there's something that O Red did in the last event that he won't be doing in this event right here. You know what that is? What? Rapping. What do you mean? Um, o Red, unfortunately, has uh, contracted coronavirus. Oh, okay. um, I just read it tonight. So, pretty much, there's no way that you'll be seeing him within the next two days. So, hopefully, O Red gets better. Um, it will. <laughs> unfortunately, him versus A Ward probably will not be happening no. because COVID's a 14 day thing. And to read that he just contracted it whenever he did recently right. kind of takes that battle off the table. Yeah, yeah. But I definitely wanted to see him versus A Ward. A Ward is a terrific freestyler, mm. all around battle ability. He's got schemes, punches, cadence. Uh, he's one of the better battle rappers in the world that hasn't really really got his main main big league shots against big names never been on url uh you know been on king of the dot sometimes been on yeah, rare free entertainment yeah. but you know his his career is still heading in, a, in an upward trend yeah. um oh red i would love to see that him coming off the battle with chef trez he did amazing in that battle. He was you know what I'm cooking. saying? Like, even though Chef Trez did his thing and had his numbers, O Red just leveled up like that. Yeah, he had he had back to back lines. Um, so yeah, we're gonna um have to take that one off the table. Uh next we can go with uh Big T versus Big K. What you think? Big T versus Big K. Yep. Uh on paper it, it doesn't sound like it's about to be a crazy battle. Okay. But I feel as though that Big T has a lot to show and prove. Mm -hmm. Not to mention this is a different league like it's a different you know brand so big t may could be he could be reinventing himself mm. or is this more of a well you gonna get the same big t right now uh you're going up against somebody who is back-to-back -back punch lines with the back-to-back -back flow right and last and but the last few battles he been exposing people so mm. like you gotta watch out for that um, overall, it just seems like to me it's going to be a good battle, but I, if I'm a betting man, got to go with Big K on this one, man. Got to go with Big K. I'm not, nope. Um, I like what Big T has been able to do historically. Mm. So much recently, not so much. Uh, Big K comes off battle with Mac Myron. With Mac Myron, he, he did his thing. Not going to hold you. Mac Myron did his thing, and, um, I had Mac Myron winning a round, but I had Big K winning the battle overall. Yeah. Um, when Big K's in his bag and focused, you know what I'm saying, he's, 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 he, he gets busy. Uh, I was watching one of my favorite ones, was him versus Head Ice. Yeah, that's uh, a good one. His, 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 his battle versus Head Ice, Head Ice had a crazy first round, mm -hmm. and his rounds was just like boom. I mean, bar after bar after bar after Haymaker after Haymaker, and I just feel like that uh, with what Big K is able to do, 
uh, Big T is going to need a performance unlike I've seen from him in recent memory. So um, He is unorthodox. Like, Big T is unorthodox, whereas you know Big K is war. Like, he, you know what Big K is going to come with. But with Big T, he has to be, like, unorthodox. Like, to me, my favorite Big T performance is him versus Rome. Right. That wasn't on URL. That was, so if you give us that I'm not on URL vibe, uh -huh. I can rock with it. Mm. But... Yeah, yeah and I like I like him in some of his other battles that he had, you know what I'm saying? The one with uh, I liked him in his Jack Boy Maine. Yeah. Screeting a screeting a screeching a screeting a screeting a screech screech, whatever he said, I don't know what the mm. fuck he said. But uh I got Big K winning that battle yeah. and I and I think I'm pretty I I can go pretty clear with that one. Yeah. Um Chef Trez versus Bankhead though. Mm. I like Chef Trez versus Bankhead. I like what Bankhead's able to do. I like his animation and the things that he you know, his 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 flow and things like that, but to me, I feel like kind of in this battle, Chef Trez kind of, no, I'm not going to say needs to win, but he shouldn't find himself behind a bull or losing to an opponent like a bankhead. What's up? I I was going to say just about the same thing. Uh, right. This is kind of a lose-lose for Chef Trez. If he loses to Bankhead, they gonna, you know, it's going to be one of those things where, oh, you let somebody that was of a lower tier than you right. beat you. If he beats Bankhead, what does that do for Chef Trez? Now, now that's no sh that's no slight or flat to Bankhead. Bankhead, he is performance heavy. Okay. He is reactions like his react like his, yeah, the, yeah, the, the yeah. facial expression. I got the long and the whole shit, and then I make sure that the shit is in the long. And it's the it's the it's a lot of that. Right. It's a lot of animation, but at the same time, sometimes Bankhead ain't really getting to the point. Right. With this battle, Chef Trez is straight to the point. I'm going to give you three of them things. So literally, the freestyles is going to be straight to the point. We're going to give you current event stuff that just happened straight to the point. Bankhead, if you can do what you normally do, but make it a little bit more palatable, mm -hmm. you got a chance of beating Chef Trez because Chef Trez has that one weakness of it is pretty simple bars, mm -hmm. but... You can't really beat it, especially if I'm coming out the gate with freestyles and they're hot freestyles. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be hard to beat that. Right. You're gonna have to beat the written part. Mm -hmm. So like that's the, the the heavier part of Bankhead. Like he may be a maybe just a tad bit more lyrical, mm -hmm. but that animation has to be toned in. No, I mean, when you say a little bit more lyrical, I got I got I kind of lean towards Trez too because yeah. of Trez's performance in the King of the God tournament. True. He got crazy with the lyrics. Yeah, you know he I mean? did. He did. Like, and people, a lot of people don't give Chef Trez a lot of credit for his rapping ability or his pen, but he showed it in the King of the Dot tournament. Now the thing is, I see him doing that again because with the tournament for King of the Dot, they don't battle every week. They right. got weeks off, like a month off or something like that before another round. Mm. So even though he did his thing in the in the first battle there, he has time to write but, for another opponent. Mm. You know what I mean? So. I mean, if you gotta collect uh, that bag, collect that bag. Chef Trez, I'm gonna tell you like this. Uh, I, I got you winning versus a bankhead. Uh, I feel like two one is a, is a good way for me to, uh, to 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 feel about the prediction in that regard. I agree. Um, one hundred percent. Head Ice versus Rosenberg Raw. Head Ice just battled against Ty Law. Mm -hmm. um, did you see it? Um, no, but I heard about it. Okay. I uh, heard so many things. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was high. All right, so. I could give you my, my my personal thoughts in about a minute or so without mm -hmm. you know being biased towards anyone. Um, I can say it like this: Had Ice, his he had he was he he was he was serviceable. You know what I'm saying? He mm -hmm. did have some stumbles in a round or two. Ty Law's material to me in some of the rounds was better, but then Ty Law recycled crazy in his third round. You know what I'm saying? How much did he recycle? He recycled like like three different bars from three different battles. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like it was literally like. Yeah. And they were like the haymakers? Were they the ones where everybody was like, ooh? Or yeah, were they the ones yeah, where it was, was like... It was like haymakers, you know what I'm saying? He recycled haymakers. He I mean, like... like a 17, fucking the 40, like Stifless Mom. And then he used a... He used a... Oh, yeah, he had another line. It was a haymaker, too. Uh, he said, like... He said a line about... Um, he's like... He was like... He was like, I'm up in the... He's like, I'm up in and kill him. He said, like... He said some shit like... 
when you in the club and drinks get spilled on the floor, a sneaker stick in the building. Like our sneakers. Sneaker you, stick, yeah, because yeah, that's yeah, how you rap. That's sneaker. how you rap. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Sneaker, the do sneaker stick in the building, but I'm a sneaker yeah. stick in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, he used that shit again. Like ah. he was pulling mad bars, but like when you in a club and drinks spill on the floor, your sneakers get stuck that, in the building. That's a fire, a fire line. line. That's a fire line. Use the shit in another battle. My, so. my question to you is. Yeah. When you when we when you was out there getting the girls, you mean to tell me you used a different line every time? <laughs> no. My case exactly. All right. Nah, nah. Not, but no, it's wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> for fifty thousand, oh, I'm giving you oh, the A okay. game. <laughs> I oh, just wanted to oh, throw that out there. I'm like, mm. a lot of cats say that, but mm, you know, uh, oh, I was falling for you, baby. Come on, man. Come on, yeah, you man. Got, you, got, you can't show up to a fifty thousand dollar toilet and use it. No, you don't recycle <laughs> shit. But uh. Here we go, Head Ice versus Rosenberg Brawl. Um, when I originally saw it, mm -hmm. and I originally thought about it, I, I picked Head Ice to win. But after Head Ice just battled last weekend, mm -hmm. and Rosenberg Raw hasn't battled, mm -hmm. and it's RBE with Rosenberg Raw's house, it's very one of them, I, I'm going over to Rosenberg Raw. Man, I got Rosenberg Raw winning 2-1, man. Um, I don't see Rosenberg Raw losing on RBE until they give him somebody that's like mm. able to kill him. Yeah. Like, like that's what's up, because for for me it feels like Rosenberg Raw is is kind of like your he's the, he's the he's one of the gatekeepers. I right. want to say he's one of the gatekeepers. Like, you know, for Ice to come back over there, it's not like, but he's battled Los. But the last time Ice battled, it was King Los, and that was more like a layup, and I needed the favor. Right. This time I'm booking you to be on this on this stage, and you're gonna go against one of my best gunners. Mm -hmm. Rosenberg Raw ain't gonna let you just walk in his house here. But the thing that Rosenberg Raw um, doesn't have that Ice has is that presence. Ah, okay. It's the presence. It's, it's the presence, man. Ice can talk to you. Like, sit your little mustard shirt having ass down. Like, it, it's one of those things with Ice. With Raw, like Rosenberg, it's like, I'm holding the nine to the side of your face, like. T-Rex when he fall asleep on his chain. It's like, um, I got the bar. It was good, but I just didn't like how you delivered it. Okay. Ice can deliver it a lot better, but the problem with Ice is it ain't he delivering, but what he delivering is it's cold pizza. It's not it's not the hot. Nope. I'm just throwing it out here. Somebody give me the last head ice uh, last head ice line you know. Oh, come on, don't do that with me. Because I'm going to tell you me. my favorite head ice line, but this is the last don't head ice line I remember. Out of stop life before stop lights. Don't That's do that with me. I know a lot of them. Don't do that what? with me. I know a lot of them. Go ahead, give me one from 2020. He just, I just watched him battle this week. Come on, man. Like, uh, and when he battled Show Off, like, he went crazy versus Show Off. That man. was the like, one nah, and nah. He was nah, throwing nah. that, and that was the, no. Oh, it was the social distancing. It doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. Listen. But. This battle has a potential to be very Yo, he said mm -hmm. you ain't seen him versus Ty Law. See, you talking about some shit you but ain't go ahead. seen. But go ahead. I'm this saying. nigga said. I, oh, my God. Figured you would have gave me a Chilla Yo, Jones nah, battle. Nah, nah. I mean, I got that. This nigga said, I'm 50% of 50% of the niggas that keep it 100 in battle rap. The nigga said, out of the, out of the, I'm 50% mm -hmm. of the 100% of the niggas that keep it real. That shit was crazy. I was like, yo, so out of all the niggas that keep it real, I used to say, I'm half of all of them niggas. That shit was crazy. Anyway, he, his battle versus Ty Law, you gotta see it. Uh, he did have some, 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 some blippity blippities in there, but you know, it is what it is. I, uh, yeah. But who you got? You said, so I'm going Rosenberg Raw 2-1 of them. I'm going with Ice. Okay, you go with Ice, I'll go Rosenberg Raw. Um... Do 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 do. None other than Jag vs. Forty Cal. Jag vs. Forty. Jag vs. Forty. What's up? What is up? A lot of talking, a lot of promotion. Even did a little back and forth. You know what I'm saying? They was talking shit on the internet, on the different interviews tracks. and all of that. I'm gonna say it like this. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead before I do. Oh man. 40 Cal, I hope you ready. Mm. Uh, Jag is uh, Jag is ready. I'm going to just leave it like that. Jag, Jag is ready. Just leave it there. What's up? I'm going to say this. 40, this is the time that now you got to prove that you belong here. 
Not saying that Jag has shown and proved that he belongs here. Okay. Both of y'all have had, you know, spar well, one Jag battled Matt, you had sparring sessions with Matt. Here's the thing. Forty, this is supposed to be your house. Mm -hmm. You are the industry guy that now made battle rap your home. This is where you at now. This is your home now. Right. Somebody is trying to take your throne. And not to mention the last battle that we that we saw Jag with Mav, we we really didn't like everything that was said. Okay. From Jag, me personally, I didn't really like a lot of stuff that Jag was saying. But I saw the performance wise. I seen that Jag pays attention to certain things. Not to mention from what I'm understanding, Jag didn't even want to go with the third. Somebody said or somebody advised Jag to do that because that's what they do in battle rap. Right. Now that he didn't paid attention to everything that went on from that last battle and you got nothing but time mm -hmm. on your hands, 40 might be in trouble. But I cannot go against the home team. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say, 40, I got faith in you. Okay, so you 42-1. Okay. I'm going with Jag, 2-1. Jag is, is ready. Uh, when we spoke the other day, mm -hmm. uh, he, he well, I mean, we spoke on the phone and we spoke in depth and I let him know what I liked from his last battle, what mm -hmm. I didn't like from his last battle, the takeaways and things like that. And uh, he's, 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 he's saying that he's here, for, he's doing this for the long run. This is not a, just a one and done, mm -hmm. trying to get a quick little bag and be in and out. He's trying to do this for the long run. Uh, 40 Cal got bars. 40 Cal did good versus Ill Will. Uh, 40 Cal is going to need to do a little bit more versus Jag. Uh, Jag is not going to play with him. Jag is going to try to, he's going to try to obliterate him. I'm not going to lie. He's going to definitely try to get busy with him, but I definitely see it as a good battle. Um, overall, respectable card. I really don't got no complaints. I would have loved to see A Ward versus um, O Red, but like I said, the, the word is he has COVID. I, I mean, I didn't speak to O Red myself, I just seen it online. And um, that's just what it is. But uh, what you think about the card? Card itself is pretty solid, if you ask me. I mean, one uh, main events drop out all the time in battle rap, mm -hmm. so it's not like you know all I wanted to see was overhead and uh, an A word. No, that wasn't the main event though. The, I mean, it was your main event. It was my main. Yeah, event. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, uh, you know, it was, it's all not. You thought you think they was gonna put that first? Yeah. No, no, no. That's I mean, what I'm saying. Okay. It's, it's it's a main event to me, but it's like you know things like that happen. So now it's really up to 40 and Jag to, to, to hold it down, mm -hmm. like to be the main event card. I mean, if this is going to get personal, both of y'all are uh, outside, or, or both of y'all are now inside of Battle Rap, but y'all are coming from the outside. So whatever the depiction that you thought this was, we need that mm -hmm. in this battle. Uh, when it comes to uh, Big K and uh, Big T, I need Big T to be very unorthodox, Keep just don't stay to the same straight and narrow because you see that's not what we like mm -hmm. so switch it on up but big k i probably got uh winning that one um uh uh well uh, uh that chef trez yeah chef and um uh, uh chef trez is going to be uh, that's going to be a nice standout battle to me i don't think that the hype is battle but the sleeper battle on this card had ice version okay, okay. Sleeper. okay so so yeah there you have it um it's going down, mask on two. Purchase the VOD now at rarebreedent.com limited event October 10th. It is going down. This is the final prediction. Um, I've got Jag 2-1. I'm going with uh, Jag 2-1, Big T 2-1, Rosenberg Raw 2-1, Chef Trez 2-1. That's how I'm going with it. We'll see uh, if these actually pan out. But other than that, you already know what it do and what it does. So you ain't gonna ask what it was. The gang.